In order to start the printing process, it's also worth pointing out a few indicators here. So the printing time is somewhere around one hour. At the moment, the powder is loaded at 2.3%. In general, this machine uh, can load somewhere around 180 to 200 kilograms uh, of powder uh, in, in one printing cycle. Um, at the moment, we are at layer one of 100, so we, we haven't started printing yet. But the most important part is uh, the level of oxygen inside the build chamber. So we completed some printing yesterday, and we haven't opened the door. So at the moment, the level of oxygen is quite low. It's at 7,500 ppm. Uh, in order to print the stainless steel, uh, we would expect to have the oxygen ppm somewhere around 2000 and 2500 ppm. So at the moment we are going to switch on the external purifier and uh, it will remove the oxygen from the build chamber. So let's uh, uh, go and uh, turn on the purification system. So exter the external purification system is on, but we need to wait a few minutes uh, for it to actually start collecting data. After the purifier is on, uh, we switch on the nitrogen and let the valve release it. So for us to operate the external purifier, we need to set the pressure valve to be somewhere between 0.5 and 0.8. We set it roughly just above 0.5 in order not to use too much nitrogen. So now we click the, the oxygen button. As you can see, the purification system is engaged. And what we expect here is to see the level of oxygen to go below 2,500. And uh, here we can see the level of purification. Here we set the value for the cleaning. So in this particular case, we are using stainless steel. So the settings are between 2,000 ppm and 2,500 ppm. Uh, if you were using a re reactive material such as aluminum, we would set it somewhere between 400 and 500 ppm. And so here we can see the level of oxygen gradually going down until it's about to reach between 2000 and 2500.